My videos are about Rhodesian Ridgebacks, and most of the time, that means they're about Ridgebacks and me. About how these wonderful dogs trust their future to this foolish man. My videos are about the relationships we have with each of our dogs and why I value that love so much. But this week, I've been thinking not about the love my dogs share with me, but the love they share with each other. Because Echo was everything for Penny. She couldn't care less about what the rest of the world thought about her, so long as she had Echo to lay her head on at the end of each day. You could spend a lifetime chasing Penny around the world and never catch her, but luckily all you had to do was find Echo, and there she'd be. I've shared so much about what I suffered when Echo died, but looking back, I think Penny suffered an even greater loss than I did. The only life she ever knew and the only dog she ever loved both stolen from her. After Echo's death, Penny and I became closer than ever, but I came to realize there were limits to what my love could do. What Penny lost with Echo, she could not find in other dogs. Doc would have no part of her wildness. We were lucky to have pals like Leo, who Penny would happily crash into, but it was always a temporary reprieve. Like the rest of us, Leo tired well before Penny did. No matter how many times we went to the beach, and no matter how many dogs were there, Penny was alone. She hunted, but she could not catch the elusive prey. A dog who could truly match her wild brand of love. And I worried. What hope was there for my firebrand? How could she find a companion who could keep up? I worried she never would. It was a lonely winter for me, but a lonelier one for Penny, I think. Because who could possibly match the mayhem and the madness of this girl? Maybe I was a bit touched in the head because I thought the answer for Penny, like me, might be a puppy. At first, Penny didn't know what to make of this little scrapper. She went to retreat to the dark comfort of her bed and ignore whatever this thing was. But Zero was having none of it. I think he was too naive to know he was pulling on the tiger's tail. Or maybe he knew and he didn't care. Either way, he refused to be rebuffed and he dragged Penny back into the light to play. And there, in the winter sun, began a beautiful thing. Penny was no longer a lunatic loner. She had this little puppy to romp with. And where every other dog would look at Penny's crazy digging and ask why, Zero asked, why not? I don't think Zero had any more idea than the rest of us about what Penny's rules are, but he was determined to play along regardless. And with his style and jacket, lonely winter beach trips were a thing of the past. I can't say I predicted it or planned for it, but I always hoped Penny might find some yang to hurry in some new equilibrium and comfort. And though his short legs couldn't keep up at first, it brought me so much joy to see Zero eagerly grow into that role, helping Penny heal in ways that I once could have only dreamed of. These two have helped me realize that no matter how much you love someone, it is never enough. No love is so perfect, it can offer another everything they need in life. This is why we must go out and search to find all the different kinds of love we need to fill our hearts. And when I see Penny and Zero joyfully racing across the beach together at sunrise, it fills my heart. Because I know that like me, Penny rediscovered herself through Zero. In him, she finally found someone who embraced her chaotic choreography. Zero has become both Penny's dance partner and her partner in crime. 
he would follow her anywhere. Zero is a friend who always runs towards Penny's wild revelry rather than away from it. Because that's Zero's offer to both me and Penny. Not an offer to give us back everything we lost, but an offer to give us everything he has. It has been such a wonderful gift for Penny. I'm not sure any man or beast can ever truly understand my maestro of mayhem. But the beauty is that Zero doesn't bother to try. He is simply content to join her wild rumpus wherever that may lead. Zero was born on Thanksgiving Day. He will always be my reminder to be grateful for the opportunity to begin again. But this year, I'm also grateful for all that he's done to help Penny begin again too. Thanks to Zero, her life is filled with more adventure, joy, comfort, security, and companionship than I ever could have offered. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone, and happy second birthday to my big turkey zero. We're all so grateful to have you as part of our family. <laughs>